when it comes down to mini PCs, I don't think that it's going to get any better than this. We have an external GPU adapter. This has an Intel 12900H inside of it. The performance with this outrageous. Now I want to talk about some of the like main aspects of this gaming PC or mini PC. First of all, look at the front of the AIO. You see that right there? Oh, that's perfect. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, I know you see it right there. First of all, I like these for emulation. That little thing right there, very simple. Put it right up on in there. Amazon, your best friend, one terabyte SD card, plug and play. You just boot it from the BIOS. There's your retro bat. There's your big box or also known as launch box or the paid version of launch box. And you get my point. There's a lot of like emulation softwares that are just boot right up into the BIOS. And there you go, you got your little gaming console. And the cool thing about this is that you do have the option for that external GPU adapter. Gaming, awesome. It is incredible for emulation all the way up to the PS3. And PS3, hello, it's a, it's a pretty modern console. You know, I mean, I'm not saying it's like brand new, but when it comes down to emulation, that's a pretty difficult platform to be doing. Now, keep in mind, the emulator itself is there are certain games that are not going to be very good like the psp emulator as an example like there's pretty much every single game running well and then you got the the god of war game that just seems to like obliterate everything even a 4090 just kidding not a 4090 but you get my point it literally obliterates everything but the cool thing about this dude is it's like it's so heavy duty like it is so it's like metal it's pure metal now the geekum pc what is the benefit of the geekum pc first of all it has the amd graphics inside of it so when it comes down to like the new type of games like if you're going to be playing fortnite on a mini pc or you're going to be playing cyberpunk on a mini pc or you're going to be playing whatever one of the like more like I don't even want to say AAA because let's be honest, dude, like indie games are better than AAA games. Now, AAA games that are releasing are just broken, whereas the indie games are supposed to be the ones that are broken because they don't have as many developers creating the video game. However, it's just, it's just like, well, that's like where it used to be. Now we just like flip the tables and we're on the exact opposite end. Here you go, Assassin's Creed, broken game. Here you go, Cyberpunk releases, broken. God of War releases, broken. Actually, that game actually released pretty well whatever you get my point they're like pretty much all the new triple a games broken for three or four months until we get a bunch of updates to fix the game whereas the indie games over here here you go here's your game it's, it's actually running really well right now <laughs> so that's a benefit that amd does have but i like intel because of the productivity and because of the creative side of things this has 32 gigabytes of DDR5, a 12900H, which offers the amount of cores and the speeds that you're going to need for content creation. And then you also have that external GPU adapter, which I tested with an RTX 4070. You can't go past that. Like you're not gonna be able to use an RTX 4080 on it or an RTX 4090 on it. But I mean, it's an external GPU adapter. It's not like you're supposed to be having a, the highest end computer that you can possibly have with a little thing that you're supposed to like plug into the mini PC. And that works really well. But this is like a very portable thing. Like you can literally take this with you where the Geekum PC, like that's literally the size of a sandwich. Like it looks like a sandwich. It's very small. This is like a cake. Hmm. <laughs> I, yes, I just barely, I just barely used a sandwich and a cake to describe computers. <laughs> but uh, the the cool thing about this one though, dude, is it's like, first of all, the aluminum casing. For those of you that may be coming from the laptop side of things, because these do perform better than a laptop. They, the um the razor, the razor laptops. The aluminum casing that they have, that's done intentionally. Or people that may be on the Apple or Macintosh side of things, the aluminum casing that those laptops have isn't for the premiumness of it. The reason that the, the companies do that is because it distributes the heat 
and it allows the heat to dissipate off of it. So this does get warm, but that is intentional. Just like the Razer laptop, just like the Apple laptop, that is being done intentionally. And this performs really well. You're not, you're not going to run into that, the inconsistency that you would see with a very small, like, like Geekum PC. Like you're gonna be running games at 1440p, but it's not going to be a consistent it's not going to be like a consistent 60 frames per second. You know what I mean? Like you're going to, we're not at that point yet. And yes, I'm, I know I'm using 1440p, but we're, we're, we're all like at a point now, like this is good for 1080p, the AMD side, good for a 1080p and the integrated graphics for the indie side of stuff has been good with 1080p for a very long time now. So I'm trying to like be, I'm trying to like talk in a way that would, uh, be the way everybody is going to actually use the computer we're not like going to be playing games at 1080p at this point in 2024 because we all have 85 inch tvs that are now less than you know i mean feels bad i'm not right i know you're in the same situation as me where like probably 10 years ago maybe if that we're all paying like 10 times the amount for a tv that's literally one fourth the size <laughs> And <laughs> and 1080p on a on on a big screen like that, not very enjoyable. So <laughs> so maybe if you're like playing on a monitor or something, I could see like okay 1080p. But even then, dude, once your eyes starts getting used to the 4K and 1440p, it's pretty hard to go back to 1080p, dude. So um so I'm just saying like 1440p is reasonable. And this is capable of playing, first of all, if we're going to be talking about emulation, you can bump that up into the 1440p and 4K territory and upscale that stuff. No issue whatsoever. Nintendo Switch, good. PS3, good. PS2, good. PS1, good. Like the emulation side of stuff, unless you're getting a 20 year old like computer, you're going to be perfectly fine. If you're going to be, you don't get one of these to play new games, okay? Like, you know, if you're going to be maxing out Cyberpunk with 4K and expect to get a, over 100 FPS with one of these, then if you use the external GPU adapter, absolutely. But I like this because of the portability. And I think I went on enough about my uh, whatever. And then you also have the ability for the for for the for people that have a like server um so man i just i went over the gaming stuff for so long i'm probably going to cut a lot of that out but i went over the gaming stuff for, for a really long time uh so for for people that are getting this for like a business you can see you got your internet connection and then you can also connect it to a server that way you can just easily like transfer like files without having to whatever you know what i mean so I highly recommend this thing, dude. It's just, it's such a good value for, for people that want to take something with you on the go. This is going to be so much better than a laptop with similar specs, okay? Just because of the design and the way it, because you get my point, all right? So I, I just, I really know I'm, I keep like repeating myself, but it's just so mind boggling that we're at a point where we got like these, little computers that can like fit in our palms and perform so well and uh and then we have these like other computers that literally need like nine fans in order to be cooled but now with the 13th and 14th generation cool cooling with the 40 series gpu you kind of need like more you need like nine or ten fans in your computer now in order for it to, for it for it to function properly whereas <laughs> Just a few years ago, which hope to be fair, AMD is kind of getting better with this, with the efficiency. Like I know a lot of people are complaining about the 9,000 series of CPUs, just basically being the exact same as the 7,000 series of CPUs that AMD has. But what people aren't realizing is that yes, they may be the exact same as the 7,000 series, but the 9,000 series of CPUs that AMD has right now are using like half the amount of power. So that's still like i mean you know what i mean it's like for for something like this where where so 12th generation doesn't run hot so i'm not like trying to like compare amd because this is for me and what i like to do this is going to be better than what amd has to offer 
because i'm just being real with you man if you're on the productivity and the creative side of stuff this just i'm just being i've been very like positive towards amd and the reason i have to say this is because you say anything negative towards amd and you're about to start a war but so i'm saying that for the creative side of stuff dude a or intel is so much better okay <laughs> so because i do i like to have my games with me bro <laughs> so i uh, so yeah recommend this thing rabbit